Hi there, Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from Insars by Chrissy.com. So, June is going to be a big month for a lot of us, even though that many of us is not going to really feel that, you know, June is a forward moving sign. But June is. A month wherein we are setting the deal to everything that has happened to us in the past so that we can move forward into a better future as we move along with July because July is really the month wherein you know you will feel that everything is starting to really move forward and everything is really happening did you make the right choice the wrong choice or are you gonna change your mind um, these are the things that you will find out by July and somehow June is actually a month wherein it's time for us to reflect to reconsider and to maybe see things that we have not seen before and it could be a time of realizations as well now let us see what's going on for the rest of you cancers out there just keep in mind that this is still a general reading so it may or may not tune in necessary for each and every one of you again this reading is for those who have their cancer in their sun moon and rising sign so uh yeah without any further ado let's get on with the reading and see what's going on for you guys in terms of your love situation now the first card that we have over here we have these page of cups so the page of cups is a messenger card and it is a card wherein you know you are very open to positivity optimism um, in receiving news of all sorts and it could be you know you are the one who wants to give some form of news communication is definitely in your mind and in your picture it is being crossed over though by the, the the five of pentacles and you know the page of cups and the five of pentacles when cro being crossed over to each other this kind of you know it's like there is communication but at the same time there are some form of friction and struggle so what we are you know according to the cards surrounding the energy over here we have the seven of wands the ten of cups the ten of swords uh and you know we have the hope card and another ten of hearts over here it's like you are at the point of your life or in there is something that you really really want to form in a very harmonious manner it could be you want to feel good you want to be in a happy relationship you want to be you know you want some form of balance and you want some form of love real love and you know something that can really pull heartstrings on you in a very positive way but because we do have this ten of swords along with the thinking card or the thought card uh, this is making me you know ha have a feeling wherein a lot of you guys are hoping for this to happen you, there are a lot of hopes wishes and dreams desire that you want to to feel but maybe you are frustrated and maybe you're not exactly getting what you truly want uh, that is just a possibility and for some of you guys it could be that you know there is some form of pessimistic thoughts brewing in the surface in terms of your love life and relationship maybe something is not really making you happy and satisfied because remember we do have the seven of wands at the past position of the reading seven of wands is not really a bad thing you know this is about you know doing the hard work and being and gaining success out of it so there is a possibility here that you know maybe you are in a type of relationship wherein you feel that you are the one who's doing all the work and you don't see any efforts being done by your partner so it, it it's like you maybe you are in a relationship and maybe things are actually happy with that relationship but deep inside of you you're not very happy because you're the one who's doing all the work it's like something is very not balanced in this relationship because one is giving in too much working in too much to the relationship and the other one is probably just enjoying and eating the cake too that kind of feeling 
so um, there could be some form of depression in the air and what you want right now is that you want to feel fulfilled you want to have some form of emotional fulfillment in life um, and this is not just you you know I mean it's very it's very much common sense everyone wants to feel this way it's just that you are feeling this more intensely more than ever especially for the month of June um, if there is something wrong in the relationship that you have right now you are going to feel it much more than usual basically and that might trigger you to to take certain action or say certain things in the relationship which can alter the course of everything else so that is just one possibility and for some of you guys you know you're just hoping for things to change you know we have here you know the the waiting card you know you're waiting for some form of miracle to occur some form of happiness to occur for someone to save you <laughs> from from some form of misery in your life you know but i kind of feel that this is not about waiting you know even though the month of june is all about waiting contemplating you know re reconsidering and all of that this is about you um living in to all of the stressful things that are happening in terms of your love life in terms of your relationship and you're being pulled to take certain action so that you know you can manifest and get what you want regardless of the circumstances because i kind of feel that you are now coming to a point where you cannot take in any longer uh the the feeling of despair the feeling of disappointment because you know um people's emotions is like a, a bubble of water or something like that like imagine like a jar of water that kind of thing you can you know take in as much water as you could but there will be always a point wherein everything is going to break out you know especially when you don't close it up you don't put in some form of boundaries you don't put in some form of rules you don't you don't um if you just let ev other people to step on you that kind of situation it will come to a point wherein you might drop the jar or the water gets spread out to the table or something like that you know i mean you guys can imagine what i'm saying right so um there is going to be a point wherein you just cannot um handle every emotions that you are feeling and believe it believe me um, even though that June is a bit of a, a very chill kind of month for other people, you will fill this month with so much emotions. At the same time, this can also be your a chance for a breakthrough to actually change your situation in a very loving and beautiful way we do have this eight of pentacles in the near future position so this is really telling us that there is some form of progress that is going to be happening maybe all your hard work is going to pay off but at the same time this can also mean wherein you might need to do something to really fix a certain scenario or maybe you're acting upon desperate measures as well because maybe you cannot you know you cannot stand by sit still and do nothing because you're not happy anymore with the situation that you are in this can also be manifesting in a way where it's time for you to speak up you know try to resolve the differences that you have with your partner with your love life with your relationship and find solutions and what to do for you guys to you know have a better sense of communication have a better healthier uh relationship intimate relationship in all sorts all those kinds of things we do are seeing here that you are moving forward so uh, don't get me wrong even though we are at the time of all of retrogrades um, even though retrogrades is not ideal to moving forward that's not always the case you know sometimes retrogrades are actually the point wherein 
we we need to go back into something some form of old issues old scenarios so that we try to work on the loopholes on what's going on with those uh, scenarios and relationships so that we can actually you know move forward implement things and uh, I guess finish up and you know move on to different areas different chapters of life and i'm not saying about the relationship you know this is a moving forward card so if you feel that you have been stuck in a rut for quite too long for way too long this is a time wherein you might see and notice that there could actually be progress during the time of retrograde season on the month of june this can also be a time wherein maybe you have been single for such a long time you have been waiting for mr right or maybe you're waiting for your past love all of those kinds of things you're trying to live your life and trying to be happy even though you are having a hard time to be happy at all this could be a time wherein you might see some form of miracle to happen in your life within the month of june and it can really make you feel that you know there is progress in a time of of um of pause you know is there it's like there is some form of blessing in disguise with all of this and you might feel that you are actually progressing and not digressing that kind of feeling it does shows us here that when it comes to your you know other people's perspective other people's energy though you might feel that there is some form of negative force um surrounding you maybe a lot of you guys are not very much ready to enter a new chapter of a relationship or for some of you you guys are having you know a lot of bitterness inside of your heart and maybe you have tried to you know just keep quiet sit still and not do anything about it but i kind of believe that and feel that you know something is going to be happening so that there is going to be some form of mutual uh, messages and exchanges going to be happening to resolve issues from the past basically this is a time of manifestation and some form of wishes can actually occur as well especially with this nine of cups and if it's not about that then this this could be a month where you know you might just feel a lot of emotions swirling in you and they are not happening just for you to feel they are happening for you to notice them and to do something with it you know so this is not a time not because it's all retrograde means that you don't do anything actually sometimes and more often than not um, the retrogrades are here for you to notice them so that you can do something out of them you can actually see a better clearer picture of what's really gonna happen for you during this retrograde time you know it's like sometimes yes it is out of impulse but at the same time it's like there is some form of truth and confusion that are intertwined all together that kind of thing so maybe it's not the time to implement everything all within the month of june but you will have an idea on what you really need to do what you have to do and what's really you know going on <laughs> um when it comes to your love life and of course last but not the least we do have the ace of pentacles as a, as a future position of this reading giving us a sense that there is blessing in the air for for the month of june and some form of offer and gift can actually occur for you for the month and this can really trigger some form of new beginnings as well and they are going to be happening in very much unexpected ways and i kind of feel that this is going to be very true for a lot of you especially if you have you had a past that is quite difficult this could be you know a time we're in some form of happy uh, event happy interaction happy meeting can actually occur you know whether this is someone we, we you already knew or someone you don't know that kind of thing there is a blessing here some form of friendship can actually come over with your life um, even though that for some of you guys it might give you some form of um, emotional conflict inside of you that kind of thing there is definitely an energy here of good luck of of gift of present 
or some form of progress in terms of relationships. So um, I just kind of feel that you know the bigger word here here is progress, entering a contract, entering a relationship, um, setting a deal with something or someone all those kinds of things and there is some form of good news to come for some of you guys it's going to be you who's going to take the action and for some of you guys you might receive the news yourself it really depends right now it is really telling us here that there are some form of depressive energy that has been going on for you for the past couple of weeks or months i don't know but this is the month we're in you have the chance to clear everything out and to actually make contact <laughs> with whatever you are desiring at this time also let's not forget our astro dice we have the Sa saturn in the sign of taurus in the first house so this is all about yourself where is saturn right now saturn is in uh i believe it's in it's entering capricorn and it's in the retrograde motion of the chart so you know and Taurus is right now uh, as usual with Uranus so something surprising and you know going back to the past or maybe trying to resolve something in the past um, maybe it's your own emotional trauma own emotional fear or whatever issues that you have are going to be resolved some form of idea could really come up for you at this time like an answer from above take notice of your dreams that they can ha can tell you something if there are any red flags that that you need to pay attention to with your partner or with any potential person in your life this is the month we're in you get to see clear um to what's really going on and this will you know remove all the confusions in your head as well so um, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can discover within the month of June for a lot of ca cancers out there. And, you know, this can actually really calm you and, you know, really give you that aha moment, um, making your em emotions a little bit more settled down as you go along. And then what, once you enter the month of July, you will really know where you are heading you have you may have already found out the answers based on what's really going to happen for the month of june so um yeah if and if you are already in a relationship this is already also a, a good time we're in you might overcome some form of obstacles that has been going on between you and your partner slowly but surely it is definitely happening and again a stronger commitment is um it's ahead of you guys as a possibility and if you're single this could be a time where it, you know maybe you're gonna make an effort or try to do something that can help you move past your past so that a new venture can really come into your life i do know that for a lot of you guys something is definitely going to come in something's going to happen like a message a messenger or someone or something is going to disrupt uh, your life in a positive way hopefully it can happen in a negative way but just know that the overall outcome is the ace of pentacles so regardless of what may be happening this is all benefiting you in the long run all at the same time so we do have a lot of luck showering here so i would say that this could be a month of new beginning or trigger for a new beginning a new cycle of your life so there are a lot of blessings in store for us especially um, something that can heal your love your emotions and relationships all at the same time so um yeah without any further ado this is it for my reading for you guys cancers out there i do hope that this reading has helped you guys and you have gotten gotten some form of insight and clarity into this and if you do want a more personal look into your own personal situation and have a reading just like this one you can do so by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye